In today's Social on 10, we want to give you the opportunity to ask Dr. Seabrook your colon health questions. So let's go to the Facebook page and see what we have here. Tina Blackwell says, I just hate the stuff you have to drink for it. Ha ha. And then Terry Shoup agrees by saying the prep is worse than the procedure, but it's a necessary prep. Uh, well, to Tina and Terry and, and, and Dondi, the, um, uh, the prep is the worst part. For the procedure itself, for a colonoscopy, you're sedated. Mm -hmm. But it is critically important that the patient do their part on getting well cleaned out. Because the better they're cleaned out, the better look we get, the more polyps we'll see. Uh, and if it's completely normal and there's no family history, we don't have to do it for 10 years. And so some of that is, mm -hmm. uh, is uh, dependent on the prep. Yeah. And yeah. so the prep's important. Should have had the broccoli, yeah. <laughs> right? All right, let's go to Ben Johnson. He says, way overdue for one, can't afford it. What's available out there for people like Ben? Well, the USC Center for Colon Cancer Research and the gastroenterologist around the state, and as well as Blue Cross Blue Shield, has uh, formed a uh, collaborative called the South Carolina Colon Cancer Prevention Network. And this generally works through the free clinics in different areas. And the gastroenterologists are actually giving their time uh, for doing procedures on those who can't afford it. So I would I recommend that you get in touch with the free clinic in your area. Good information. Thank you, doctor. I'll see you at five.